It's early morning at one of the largest squares in Lisbon. More than a thousand people are here to be part of a gigantic life-size computer game. The idea is simple enough. We are staging the world's biggest version of Snake. I wonder how a thousand people will look like. Snake is the most popular mobile game ever. If you've owned a Nokia in the past 15 years, you've probably played it. In other words, it's a tribute to this classic game, made in stop motion. Animating with stop motion is both fun and easy. It depends uh, that you don't have any clue what you're doing. It's like you have to imagine how it will be, and that's quite hard. You have hard. to think in uh, frames. I'm just guessing. I have no clue. I have no clue what I'm doing. Tell, George, tell the guy to lean backwards. All you need is a camera, an idea, and a lot of time. It's a bit like playing games. You can let your imagination run free. All the action happens in the camera, so why bother with digital effects? Everything you see in the film is actually there. Frame by frame, a pile of boxes becomes a giant cardboard monster. For the more spectacular stunts, we use body doubles. And of course, we don't need wires to make people fly, slide or bounce around. I think it will be really cool because it's, um, we've been looking at the computer so we can see how, how the stuff has uh, developed. So we know we have some really cool stuff. However, to make the world's greatest version of Snake, you need a few friends. In fact, a lot of friends. It was 1,000 extras and I was quite nervous, I was uh, before, because I thought it would be a big mess. And we were not so big team and so I was totally sure that it would be a big mess. The DOP already did a really nice uh, thing with the camera, camera movement with the stop, so it's, stop motion, that's great.